that our prehistoric ancestors, they had come across the plants that do alter consciousness. In about two million years, the human cortex tripled in size and the brain exploded over a ridiculously short span of evolutionary time. Two million years is nothing when it comes to evolution. What triggered that? In the late 1970s, Terence McKenna and his brother Dennis McKenna were the first that proposed the stoned ape hypothesis. It is known now that 22 primates, 23, including us, consume mushrooms. And the idea was our ancestors, they came out of the trees and went across the savanna, would be tracking animals that were pooping. Well, in the subtropics, the most common mushroom coming out of those cow patties is Philosophy commences, a potent magic mushroom. One thing that mushrooms and other psychedelics do reliably is they induce a synesthesia. Synesthesia is the perception of one sensory modality in another, hearing colors, for example, or seeing music. have these profound experiences and you have to put yourself in their place and imagine what the impact of such an experience must have been on an early hominid. These magic mushrooms open up the floodgates of information you receive. Basically, you can think of it as a contact fluid between the synapses within the brain. Wow, what a competitive advantage, especially if you're working with the geometry of weapons or having to put together something that will give you a better chance of survival. The fact that this happened not once, not twice, but millions upon millions of times over millions of years is a very plausible explanation for the tripling of the brain two million years ago. It's not so simple to say that they ate psilocybin mushrooms and suddenly the brain mutated. I think it's more complex than that, but I think it was a factor. It was like a software to program this neurologically modern hardware to think, to have cognition, to have language, because language is essentially synesthesia. Language is an association with inherently meaningless sound, except that it's associated with a complex of meaning. A great deal of the brain's real estate, you might say, is devoted to the generation and or the comprehension of language. Those neural structures are not found in our ancestors. That's a human trait, to have so much physiology devoted to generating and understanding language. And that's a reflection of evolutionary events that made us what we are.